What is up, So Hills kids? How are you guys doing? I am super excited that you guys are here. I hope you've been enjoying the week, and I hope you are enjoying these videos. So today we're starting a new series. I'm so excited. It is March, and we're talking about something super important. Patience. That's right. You guys nailed it. Patience is all about waiting. Waiting so you can get, well, what you're waiting for. And let's be honest. Sometimes waiting is really hard. Sometimes we want what we want to win it. Like when I'm driving and stuck in traffic and I want to get out of it. Or when I want the newest phone so it can be super fast and super speedy. Or the newest video game console. Or the best whatever. Sometimes we need patience and it's super important. So we have an awesome lesson today for you guys to talk about patience and endurance. But first we've got a fun little game. It's not quite like normal, but I hope you guys enjoy it. It might be a little bit fun. So I will see you guys there. What's up guys? So like I said, we don't have like a normal game for you guys today, mm -hmm. but we wanted to do something fun. So these right here are frozen solid shirts. Me and Lincoln have the same shirt. We have to race to see who can put this shirt on the fastest, okay? Right. So we're gonna we're just gonna go for it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Set, go. Oh, it's really frozen. Oh my god. I feel like it's gonna break in half. Oh, this is gonna work, so. Oh. What is up you guys, it's Haley and I am back with a brand new memory verse for the month of March. So this month we're going to be in Psalms 27:14. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the brand new motions and introduce the new words. So first motion is wait and then we're going to make an L with our fingers. We're going to put it at our hip and we're going to bring it to our shoulder. So wait for the Lord. Next, we're going to say be strong. Show me your muscles. Be strong and do not lose hope. So we're going to take our peace signs, we're going to cross our fingers, and we're going to shake them back and forth like we're hoping for something exciting to happen. So be strong and do not lose hope. And then we're going to come back to the beginning and say wait for the Lord. So let's put it all together. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and do not lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalms 27, 14. Great job, you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Gosh, it's so cold and we're back in. All right. I win. Sam wins. Oh, you guys don't know how cold it is. Oh, right there. And Lincoln was so close. Well, guys. Good thing we're talking about patience today, because that took a long time. We're going to jump into the verse for this month, and then we've got a cool interview coming up. <laughs> you did great. Oh, man. All right, everybody. If you wouldn't mind just welcoming to the stage, we have Simeon, a temple priest. He's just making his way uh, as fast as he can. But yeah, give it up for Simeon. Just take your time. Is that a comfy chair?
care for you? This is fine. So, Simeon, what do you do? A lot of... A lot of praying. Hmm. Good bit of waiting, too. Okay. Uh, why? Well, back when I was a young lad, the Lord promised me that I would get to see the Messiah. Mm. So that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting. But, Simeon, that's so far away. How could you wait like that? It's been a long time. I really had to have a lot of patience, a lot of trust in the Lord. How do you have that much patience and trust? Well, at first it was hard. I kept wanting things to happen right away, but over time, as I learned to wait, and I practiced. Eventually, I just said I'm going to trust and we'll see where it goes. Hmm. Well, guys, I guess what's really important with what Simeon was telling us is patience and trust are what you need to be able to see the fruit of the Lord. Would you agree with that, Mr. Simeon? I think that's great. Hmm. Now... Got some prune juice to get to, so I'll get out of your hair. You need any help or anything? I, I, I've got it. Okay. Remember, patience. Patience. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through You are my peace in my troubled sea Oh, you are my peace in the troubled sea In the silence you won't let go In my questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through you are my peace in the troubled sea, oh, you are my peace in the troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I'll follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. tomorrow brings with each morning I'll rise and sing my God's love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh you are the peace in my troubled sea my lighthouse my lighthouse shining Bye. 
talk interview, kind of just getting at the point of this story. But I wanted to dive into it with you guys and really discuss how important it really is. So we're going right to the source, the source of our interview. Yep, we're going to Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 35. So that's 10 verses. Flip on over Luke chapter 2, verses 35 or 25. So I'm going to start there. At the time, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and it revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord Messiah. That day, the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby to the Lord, as the law required, Simeon was there. He took the child in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace. So you have promised, I have seen your salvation, which you prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nations, and he is the glory of the people of Israel. Jesus' parents were amazed at what was being said about him. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, the baby's mother, This child is destined to cause many Israel to fall, but he will be a joy to many others. He has been sent as a sign from God. Many will oppose him. As the result, the deepest thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your very soul. Wow, that's a lot. You see, Simeon was an old guy, and he had been waiting for a long time. But the Spirit of God had promised Simeon that he would see the Messiah before he died. And you have to think. I'm sure Simeon dealt with doubt. He wasn't sure some days. He wasn't confident, especially as he got older and the longer he waited, the more he could have doubted. But he trusted God and he trusted the Spirit. And he was rewarded for that. He got to see the Messiah, Jesus himself. And, well... He had to wait. He had to practice patience. And that's what this month is all about. Is waiting to get something we want. Or waiting to get something we need. Whatever it is in your life. If it's something small like a new phone. Or a new video game. Or maybe something big. Like an urgent prayer. Or a need in your life. God will provide. And he provides in his timing. So we have to trust that. We have to believe in God. And we have to follow what he says. So I want to ask you guys this question before we head out. But what or when is it hard to be patient? When is it difficult? When is it hard to wait? Is it when you want something right then and right now? We live in a world where it's so easy to get whatever you want at a snap of a finger. With our phones and our tablets and the internet, we can get whatever we want, but the Lord tells us to wait. There's actually a big word for this that they use um, when you uh, talk about it in science and stuff, but it's called delayed gratification. Now, gratification kind of just means like enjoyment, something you like, and delayed as well, waiting. So it's talking about waiting for something that you like. And it's super important for all of us to have some delayed gratification, to wait for what we like. It teaches us to be patient. It helps us to be calm, to not get as upset and as angry. And it's super important for us as followers of Jesus. So let's dive into this week seeking to be patient even when we don't want to. You guys rock, and I will see you guys next week as we dive into more topics about patience. I cannot wait. Bye, guys.